Critical Role is an incredibly popular D&D live show. It is incredibly popular within the TTRPG space and is really entertaining to watch. A couple years ago, they did a Kickstarter, which absolutely blew everyone away with how well it did to make their own animated show. While originally only planning on doing, I think, about two episodes of an animated show, like an animated special, just as like a, hey, here is how the gang got together for Vox Machina. Instead, it did so well that it expanded to an entire TV show, which got picked up by Amazon and released last year and did absolutely phenomenal numbers. Season two just released last week, and now that we are halfway through the season, I just wanted to talk about my first reactions to season two. Two. Season 2 is the start, and I believe going to be the first half, of the Chroma Conclave arc. Chroma Conclave is an incredibly fun arc in the original Vox Machina campaign. Basically, going around, finding weapons to defeat a group of dragons that have decided that they want to take over Tal'Dorei. And it was a lot of fun in the campaign when I watched it play. And it is even more fun to watch it play out in an animated form. I think this show is incredibly well done. It's a lot of fun to watch, especially if you already have watched Critical Role and you have an idea of what is going to happen. It's really entertaining and it's really fun to see how they took elements from the game and had to adapt them into a show. Obviously, they have to change certain events and certain things around so that the show flows more like a story and so it's not like a, ah, oh, what the fuck is happening? Why are we here now? Oh, and we're going over here. Oh, now we're here. Because in a D&D game, there's kind of a home base that you can constantly return to and go back to a place to reset. That doesn't exist in a story because it's not as fun, especially if it's a continuous narrative like the narrative of Vox Machina. So that they were able to take the story that was told in the campaign and adapt it into a show with a really solid, very narrative flow story was really, really cool and I think is a phenomenal job and speaks to the storytelling ability of the Critical Role crew. The voice work in this show is phenomenally well done. Everyone does an absolutely phenomenal job, obviously being that they are a group of professional voice actors. And I also really love all of the little Easter eggs to other Critical Role games that have been played. It's really cool to see like small little things that if you watched the Critical Role live games, then you will notice and be able to pick up on. And it's really cool to see. The character growth is also very well done. And I also have to commend them that even if you know what is coming in the Critical Role show, you know these moments that are about to happen, these really like bombastic and out there moments and you know what's going to happen, you know exactly how a scene is going to play out in the end. The ability to make you feel emotion during these moments is absolutely astounding. Be it incredibly tense moments of a fight that you know everyone is going to make it out of, or a potential character dying, the storytelling of this series is an absolute, in my opinion, masterclass on how to build tension and keep it up there. I've watched some of these scenes and I'm like, I know everything's going to be fine, I know they make it out, I know they're not going to die, however, it feels like they can and I still feel the stress of someone who doesn't know what's coming and I think that is phenomenal. I think it is amazing that you were able to do that and keep it relevant and moving forward within the context of the show. I absolutely love this show and I honestly cannot wait for the rest of it. I think it's going to be so much fun. I think the show is currently doing a really good job. I think the storytelling is phenomenal and I can't wait to see more of it. That's all I have. Hope you all have a fantastic day. Peace. Oh, and by the way, it was also announced recently that we're getting a Monday Night Animated Show. Bye.